Ma, I am going to school. Son, did you take your tiffin? Yes, Ma. Today we shall learn about our digestive system. Have you ever thought what happens to the food we eat and where does it go? Let us try to understand this. The petrol or diesel that goes into the car gives it energy to run. Same way, our body needs energy to work. In car, this energy comes from petrol. From where does the body get energy to work? In the body, it comes from food and oxygen. We eat food that gives us energy to grow and work. Is the food we eat directly gets utilized to provide energy or is it processed or changed before it is ready to be used by our body? The food we eat is made of big and complex particles. It needs to be broken down into small and simple substances so that our body can use the food. This process is called digestion. The digestive system converts the food into nutrients so that it can be used by each and every part of the body. It also is responsible for removing solid waste. Now, let us look at how petrol is used to generate energy in car. The petrol from the pump comes down through a pipe. It then enters the petrol tank. The petrol tank is the stomach where the petrol is stored until it is used by the engine. When the car starts, the petrol from the tank goes through a small pipe to the engine, gets converted into energy that is used to run the car. Finally, the waste comes through the large exhaust pipe at the back of car, smelling stinky, correct? Same way in humans too, the food goes down the esophagus or the food pipe into the stomach. Then it goes into a very long tube like structure called small intestine and then to another tube like structure called large intestine. The waste is finally passed out of the body as stool. Have you ever heard the growling noise from stomach? Say we are in a quiet room and heard someone's stomach growl? Or perhaps it was our own stomach that was growling? Have you ever experienced that? Yes, right? But what makes our stomachs growl? When we hear our stomachs make that noise, we know that it has been too long since we have eaten anything. It means that we are hungry. Oh, what is this? It's yummy Hyderabadi biryani. Do you wonder, once you eat it, where does this biryani go? How you get energy from the biryani you eat? By now, you know what is digestion. It is the process by which big and complex food particles are broken down into small and simple substances so that our body can use the food. This process of digestion is not simple. The food or biryani has to pass through many organs of your body. During this travel, the food gets absorbed in various organs and finally, the waste or undigested food will be removed out of your body. Let us see the journey of biryani through your body now. The journey of biryani is not easy. It's a difficult journey that covers long distances and can take several days. It's one in which nothing goes through unchanged. It's the story of your digestive system whose purpose is to turn the food you eat into something useful for your body. So. When does this journey start? It all starts with the first bite of biryani. Yummy! Teeth says, Welcome to my den, Mr. Food. Hey, wait! 
but you are so big and huge, Mr. Food. Let me grind you and make you small. But tell me, Mr. Food, do you think the spit is just spit? No, actually it is a chemical called saliva. It will make you soft and moist so that your journey down is fast and easy. Oh, look at you. You are now like a big wet ball. Now you will enjoy the smooth slide down. The food pipe says, So, are you ready for the ride, Mr. Food? Don't be scared. Just close your eyes and enjoy this ride. The small food particles, moist and pulpy, slide down the food pipe, slide and reaches the stomach. More food keeps entering the stomach. It is about to get full. The stomach says, Ah, I feel much better now. Back to the work now. Let me first mix you up, Mr. Food, with the nice digestive juices. I will add the acid that will kill the germs in food. Good. Now I will start my mixing and churning machine. The stomach is busy churning food into smaller particles. Slowly, the digested food enters the small intestine bit by bit. The small intestine says, Let me absorb the digested food so that the blood will carry it to all the parts of the body. But hold on, the journey is still not over yet. The leftovers that the body can't use still have more travelling to do. And says small intestine, What do I do about the leftover waste? Now, let me just pass it down. The remaining waste goes to the large intestine, which says, This waste still has lots of water. Let me conserve it. Water is so precious. I, the large intestine, absorbs most of the water as the waste moves along the tube. I am too full and stiff now. I cannot carry more. I think it's time now. What time, kids? Yes, it's time to go to the toilet. Oh, the journey is about to end. The waste has been expelled out of the body. I can hear the flushing sound. The journey of biryani is over. Oh, now the stomach must be feeling so light. So it was a glorious journey, maybe slightly stinky too. <laughs> so kids, the biryani did have a long, long journey, starting from the mouth, to the food pipe, to stomach, then to small intestine, to the large intestine, and finally out of the body. Now, tell me, which all organs are involved in the digestion of food? Many organs are involved, but mainly the mouth, esophagus, the slippery water slide, stomach, small intestine and the large intestine. The waste is finally expelled out of an opening called anus. In short, we can say, our digestive system is all about getting food into our body. Digesting the food absorbing the nutrients we need and elimination of the materials we don't need as feces or stool. <laughs>